What is up Broncos fans, the Denver Broncos show back here again to do another video. In this video I'll be talking about some of the prospects that I think the Broncos should target in this year's draft. Of course the 2013 NFL draft will be tomorrow night. It will be on the NFL Network and ESPN so be sure to check that out. Now, a very interesting draft class this year. A lot of questions about where uh, guys are going to end up and, and for the first time in a while we don't really have a surefire uh, first overall pick. There's a lot of depth in this draft so really looking forward to seeing how this draft plays out. A lot of unpredictability this year in the NFL draft for the first time in quite some time. So I'm going to start with the running backs that I think the Broncos uh, could look to target or should look to target here in this year's uh, 2013 NFL Draft. The first running back I'm going to be talking about is Eddie Lacy out of Alabama. He's 5 foot 11 inches tall, 231 pounds. He rushed for 2,400 two yards and 30 touchdowns dur during his career at Alabama. You look at Eddie Lacy and, and what people are saying about him. He's a physical between the tackles runner. Uh, he's a guy that would definitely help us in third and short and goal line situations, kind of add a physical presence to our offensive, uh, to our offense in general, excuse me. And he's a bruising type of back. He's a bigger back, obviously at 231 pounds, but he's quick in the open field. He's kind of shifty in the open field. He can make guys mids, uh, miss. He's a good receiver out of the backfield. He can catch the ball. He does need improve as a blocker though his pass protection isn't that great so that kind of concerns me and there's some conditioning and durability issues with him uh, but all in all I think Eddie Lacy's a, a pretty good well-rounded running back he's probably a guy we'd have to target in the first round with that 28th pick maybe there's a shot he falls to us in the second round but he is a guy I definitely think the Broncos should, should look at again there is some some conditioning issues with him and, and some durability issues with him and, and I'm not even sure he was the best running back on Alabama's team last year I think TJ Yeldon who was a friend freshman for them who's going to be a sophomore this season is a better player than Eddie Lacy but still he's a productive player in college he's a physical running back we're looking for a bigger back apparently and uh, Eddie Lacy would definitely fit that bill and, and definitely a guy that the Broncos uh, should at least consider uh, there in that first possibly second round. Next running back I'm going to talk about this guy I like a lot we got Jonathan Franklin out of UCLA. He's 5 foot 10 inches tall, 205 pounds. He rushed for 4,403 yards uh, during his career at UCLA. This is a guy that has NFL ready blocking skills. He's a very good pass protector. He's got good speed in the open field. He ran a 4-4-9-40 at the combine, obviously evident by that 40 time. He's a good receiver as well. I uh, well. uh, can catch the ball out of the backfield. Very well rounded running back. He's a potential three down back, so you like the upside with Franklin, but there is some concern uh, with, with his fumbling issues that he had in college. And he's He's obviously not the biggest running back, which is something apparently the Broncos are looking for. He's more of a change of pace guy, but he's still pretty stout at 205 pounds, and he doesn't have elite speed, but he's definitely capable of making guys miss in the open field. He has good enough speed for that. Again, ran a 4-4-9-40 at the combine, which is pretty good. I like Franklin a lot. I think he's got a lot more upside than Lacey. I think he's already a little more well-rounded than Lacey. He's a better blocker than Eddie Lacey, and he's a guy that you probably get in the second round. Maybe would have to target him in the first round, uh, but Franklin, I think, would be a good fit on our team. He's, a, he's again as a potential three down back, so you gotta love the upside there. And as a guy, they, the Broncos should probably, if they're gonna take him, look to target maybe with pick 28, but more likely in the second round. And the last running back I'll be talking about here is Le'Veon Bell out of Michigan State. He's six foot one inches tall, 230 pounds. Uh, obviously, is a, a bigger back and, and would definitely fit what we're looking for apparently at the running back position. Uh, looking for a bigger kind of ca a cowbell back, if you will, kind of a workhorse back. He definitely fits that big fan of this guy and is definitely a guy that we could uh, target in the later rounds probably get him in the second possibly even third round you're looking at a guy here in Bell who's a very good receiver out of the backfield has very good hands he's a prototypical three down back has the size that we're looking for at 230 pounds he had 25 rushing touchdowns in his last two seasons alone at Michigan State and he's drawn uh, comparisons to uh, running back Steven Jackson formerly uh, of course played with the St. Louis Rams now plays with the Atlanta Falcons has been one of the better running backs for the past several seasons in the NFL. Uh, so you got to like that. that he's, he's drawn comparisons to such a well-rounded, uh, big, good back like Steven Jackson. He's a physical bruising back, obviously, with that 230-pound uh, frame. Definitely has no problem with uh, you know running in between the tackles. He has good speed for his size as well. Ran a 4.640, extremely well-rounded back. Uh, and, again, is a, a guy that would fit the mold of what we're looking for. Would uh, Like Eddie Lacy, add a physical dimension, physical presence, if you will, to our offense. Would definitely 
help us in, in third and short situations, be kind of that big cowbell back that we're looking for. And the great thing about Le'Veon Bell is, unlike Eddie Lacy, you probably don't you, you don't have to take him in the first round. You probably could get him in that second or third round. I think he'd probably be out of these three running backs that I, I just talked about. I think he'd be the best fit for our offense, and I would love to see the Broncos target him come draft day. Start with Sylvester Williams out of North Carolina. He's six foot three inches tall, 313 pounds. He had six sacks and 13 and a half tackles for loss in uh, last season in 2012 uh, with with North Carolina. He's a very good interior pass rusher. Does a great job of pushing the pocket effectively. He's dis disruptive in the run game. Has very good first step quickness for his size. He's a very good athlete for his size of 313 pounds. But there is some consistency issues with him. He's kind of a poor tackler at times. He's an inconsistent tackler. So that's something he's going to have to work on. But he is a good interior pass rusher. Uh, we definitely could use. And with his ability to push the pocket effectively and be disruptive in the run game, that's going to open up a lot of things uh, for a guy like Von Miller uh, on the outside. So Sylvester Williams, I think, would definitely be a good fit for our team. The next defensive lineman I'll be talking about is Jonathan Hankins out of Ohio State. He's six foot three inches tall, 320 pounds. This guy uh, is is a, a space eater. I mean, he's a huge, huge guy. Obviously, at 320 pounds, he's going to fill gaps. He's going to take on blocks. That's something we definitely could use within our, our defensive front and our front seven that would also free up uh, some one-on-one -on -one situations for Von Miller on the outside. Last season at Ohio State, Jonathan Hankins finished with 55 tackles. He was named uh, to the first team all Big Ten uh, last season in 2012. He's very good against the run. Quick for his size, which you like that. Uh, he's not the, the best pass rusher in the world. He's not the, the interior pass rusher that Sylvester Williams is. He's not going to necessarily push the pocket, but he's good against the run. He's a space heater. He's going to fill gaps. He's going to free up uh, so some one-on-one -on -one situations and blocks for other guys. Um, there is some conditioning issues those with him, which you don't like seeing. That's obviously uh, kind of a concern, especially for guys 320 pounds. But um, I think he would be a good fit within our defense. Again, what would do a good job of, of just kind of taking up space and a guy that you could probably target uh, in the second round. And the last defensive tackle I'm going to talk about, we got Kawan Short out of Purdue. He's six foot three inches tall, 299 pounds. This guy is a disruptive force. He had 48 tackles for loss in his career at Purdue. He had 31 and a half tackles for loss just in the last two seasons alone. You look at Kawan Short's game, this guy's a good pass rusher, does a good job of pushing the pocket. He's disruptive. Uh, like I said, he's, he's definitely disruptive uh, against the run, disruptive player in the middle. Uh, but there is some risk with him. He's kind of a boomer bust type player. There has been some consistency and conditioning issues with him, but the ceiling is extremely high for this guy. Um, he, again, he, he could be a, a very effective interior pass rusher for our team. And he's a guy that could probably target in the second round. I think he, he would have the potential to be a, a, dis, a disruptive force uh, in the middle of our defense. Now looking at some of the defensive ends that the Broncos may look to target here in this year's draft, it's going to start with Bjorn Werner out of Florida State. He's six foot three inches tall, 263 pounds. He had 13 sacks, 18 tackles for loss, and eight pass deflections last season for the Seminoles in Florida State. This is a guy that has a very good motor. He's a tough player. He's got a good first step. He's a good edge rusher. He's got great closing speed around the edge, but he is inconsistent against the run and setting the edge against the run, which is definitely a concern because we had problems defensively last season of setting the edge against the run, but he's a very good tackler. And he's been compared uh, to Chris Long and Jared Allen by multiple NFL draft analysts and scouts, which uh, th those are two hell of a comparisons. Chris Long and Jared Allen, obviously very good edge rushers and, and players for their respective teams. Now, I'm not sure Warner will be there at pick 28. There was talks uh, before the, the draft process really got rolling that Warner uh, could have been, a, you know, go as high as a top 10 pick, possibly even be a top 5 pick. So I'm not sure he'll get to 28, but if he is there, I think he'd be a hell of addition to our, our uh, defense. He definitely would be a suitable replacement for Elvis Dumerville and a guy that could start day one uh, for our defense and, and definitely take some pressure off of Vaughn Miller. Next defensive end I'm going to talk about, another guy from Florida State. We got Cornelius Carradine. He is uh, six foot four inches tall, 276 pounds. He is uh, a guy that has a ton of upside. Uh, last season with Florida State, he had 13 tackles for loss and 11 sacks before he got hurt. He tore his ACL. A lot of people have said he is the most natural pass rusher in this year's draft class. This guy is a great edge rusher. Does a great job of, of, of getting around that edge. Has good closing speed to the quarterback. Is a guy that's got good character. He's, he's clean off the field. He's good against the run. Like Warner, though, needs to be better at setting the edge uh, against the run, but still is probably better against the run than Warner. He's a good tackler, big hitter, makes impact hits, uh, but he does need to have uh, need, need, needs to work on his pass rushing moves and needs to have better awareness. But for the most part, I think this guy is is got huge up torn ACL 
does worry you a little bit but apparently he just ran a, a 40 recently four or five months after his surgery and he, he ran a, a ran a time of 475 so this guy his recovery obviously is coming along he's a freak athlete his upside's huge and again a lot of people think he is the most natural pass rusher in this year's draft class I think he'd be a great uh, replacement for Doomerville I think he could be better than Doomerville and this is a guy that you probably uh, target with that 28th pick in the first round maybe even get him in the second round but you'd probably have to take him at 28 I think the the C Ceiling is extremely high for this guy, and I would love to see the Broncos uh, take Cornelius Carradine sometime uh, within this draft.